guys, it's TechRan here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to upgrade your Ryzen CPU and your PC, because you might just grab yourself a new CPU like I have here. I got myself the Ryzen 57G 8-core 16-thread CPU. And my current build right now has a 6-core 12-thread, so I want to upgrade it here today. And I thought I'd show you the process step-by-step -step in order to do so, so let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to do is open up your case on the front side, so that way you get access to your cooler. Now, we're going to have to remove this, so make sure to have your Phillips screwdriver. We want to just unscrew all the spots and or unplug anything that's in the way. So what I need to do is actually pop this lid thing because it's magnetic. Set that to a side. And now once we've done that, we can actually unplug the actual CPU pump for my liquid IO. And you just do the same thing with your cooler. If you have a CPU cooler, you just want to remove the actual plugs from it and just set it to the side for the time being. Once you've done that, you want to just carefully unscrew all four corners of your actual cooler. Just lefty, then loosen it and then you know, right to tighten it, but we want to loosen it to the time being. So we just need to remove all four of these corners real quick, which is honestly not too hard to do. We just gotta make sure not to lose anything because if we lose anything, it'll be a problem. So just make sure to take any screws you unscrew and carefully set them to the side for the time being. And we're just gonna do this two more times. Once you've done that though and got all of your screws off, you should be able to just pull them off all with absolute ease. As long as nothing goes wrong, of course, this one's in a weird spot for me to actually like grab. So I'm just gonna, once you've done that, we'll just set that to the side. And now to remove your CPU cooler, all you have to do is carefully just wiggle it around because there's thermal paste holding it in place. So we're just gonna wiggle it, we wiggle it like so, it should just come off. And of course, really simple. You might have to use a little bit more force if necessary, but we're just gonna set this aside for the time being. With that though, our CPU is good. And then if we wanna unsold, all you have to do is push this lever down and then pull it to us. Then of course, lift it to the back side here. And you should hear click, we got it, cool. And now we can just pull out our CPU and set this to the side somewhere. So we're just gonna sit on this top of this box the time being, but I would recommend doing the following. It's actually cleaning your CPU with some alcohol swabs. We just use them 90% and we're just gonna clean our CPU quick. So what you're gonna do is take your alcohol swabs, just open up a little package like so, get the thing on out so that way you can have access to it. And then what we're gonna do is grab our CPU, make sure not to touch the actual pins. Which you can see right here is the thermal paste. We're gonna just wipe this across like so. You might have to use more than one of these, usually two is the minimum to actually get all the thermal paste off. It's really easy. We just wanna wipe this like so. And since this is fresh purple paste, we can just like do that. But you can see it's gonna easily come off. So we're gonna grab another one, do the same thing, wipe it around, make sure to thoroughly clean the top of it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I would recommend just making sure the top is absolutely shiny. You should be able to see all the little details about the actual CPU. With that though, our CPU is actually clean and good to go, so we can put this away if we want to use this to sell, or if we want to actually use it for a different build, which is what I plan to do. So what we just did to clean our CPU, we want to do the exact same thing with actually our uh, cooler. So we're just going to take this, wipe off the actual thermal paste that's actually on this, so we're just going to do this like so, because we're going to have to reinstall a CPU, which is the new CPU that we're upgrading to, but we want to make sure we have a fresh thing of thermal paste and not have the old residue left over. Next we want to do is get our new CPU that we want to install an upgrade to and pull it out of its packaging, which you can see here. I would recommend holding that on hand and explain why in just a second here. What we want to do to install this is locate the gold triangle on the CPU. We know it's on the bottom left. Look on the actual socket for the gold, not gold, the black triangle. You can see it's on the top left there. So now we know where our gold triangle is and the black triangle is. We just want to lightly drop this into the socket, which you could see right here that once you actually line it up perfectly, it should just fall into place. Perfect. And then we just push this lever down. And what we're gonna do is push it, lift it under the ledge. And with that, our CPU is good to go. Now I would recommend keeping that package from earlier and taking the CPU that you uninstalled and place it on in there. That way, if you wanna sell it, you can, or that way you can hold on to it for future PC builds, which is exactly what I plan to do. The next thing you'll need to do is install some thermal paste. So all we have to do with the thermal paste is literally just take it Lightly drop a dip on it. We don't need a super crazy amount. We just need enough to place on our cooler, like so. And with that, we are good to go. And we're just gonna put this away. So the next thing to do is install our CPU cooler. Of course, we cleaned it off, got the thermal paste off, installed new and stuff. So all we have to do is line it on up back to the socket, which is pretty easy. Just get the screws, match them on up. And of course, if it just slips on the plate, so it's like so, you're good to go. And we just grab those screws from earlier and start screwing it on in. So what we need to do is just take our screws now, like we had that we pissed away, so we didn't lose them, and just screw them back on. Of course, I can just finger screw them for a little bit here just to thread them. Once you've done that though, all you have to do is get your Phillips screwdriver, be righty tidy, and we're just gonna do this on all four sides, nice and evenly for a bit. 
But once you tighten all four corners just perfectly enough, not to the point where like it's impossible to remove later, just enough to you know that it's confirmed to be tight on there. What I'm gonna do now is just re-plug in back everything and then test to see if it boots. So all we have to do now is turn it on PC, so we we'll just make sure it's on the symbol on the back, it's right good. Push the power button, everything works fine. It should just boot on perfectly. Now it might take a second since when you switch the CPU for Ryzen, it might actually like say, hey, I want to switch this new CPU, new CPU installed stuff. So we're just gonna give it a second here to just kind of process. But if you do have any problems installing your CPU though for Ryzen, you might need to update your BIOS because we're on AM4 right now. And with AM4, they release all the CPUs for that lineup. And this is 5000 ready, so we're good to go. But if you're on AM5, you might need to update your BIOS for your CPU if you do have a newer CPU. If you are interested in seeing a video on how to update your BIOS, let me know by smashing the like button, and I'll absolutely do one. Oh, there we go. That's a sign. That's a good sign. Looks like it noticed that we're using a new CPU. So just make sure to plug in your keyboard, push Y, and of course it should just work perfectly with the new CPU installed. With that though, our PC is good to go. We've installed our new CPU. So now in theory, what should happen if we look up Task Manager, go into performance, we should see our new CPU from six core, 12 thread to eight core, 16 thread CPU, which is awesome to see. So that is how you upgrade your Ryzen CPU. If you guys did find this video helpful, then make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to some future tech content. We're almost at like 7,000 subscribers. If it would help me reach that goal, that'd be very much appreciated. I'll see you guys for another one. Have a great day. Tech Grant out.